Hi everyone! Today we're going to be talking about off-the-record messaging. And off-the-record messaging, also known as OTR, is a plugin for um, instant messaging that allows you to do end-to-end -end encrypted instant messaging. So that way you can, let's say, chat on Facebook, but only you and the person you're chatting with can decrypt the messages. So Facebook, the company themselves, can't read your messages or hand them over to the government or whatever. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to install and set it up on Linux. I also have a video for uh, the Windows users uh, that you can check out. That's a separate video, but this one's how to install it on Linux. Uh, specifically, this is um, today I'm going to be demoing this on um, Ubuntu. Um, so feel free to follow along. You can do this on pretty much any Linux distro. Um, the commands might be a little bit different, but uh, since Ubuntu is the most popular, that's what I'll be demoing it on today. So let's get started. First off, before we install OTR, we're going to install a instant messaging software package called Pigeon. And uh, Pigeon is a free open source package that works on Windows, it works on Linux. Um, you can then hook Pigeon up to Google Chats, Facebook, um, MSN chat, whatever you want. Pigeon is just a great little tool that you can use to chat with virtually anyone. So, to install Pigeon, we're going to go to the terminal, and you can open up the terminal by going to your applications. Um, and this is going to look different on whatever distro you're on and opening up the terminal. Um, or you, on a lot of distributions, you can do Control-Alt-T simultaneously, and that will bring up the terminal. So, what you want to type is sudo sudo s u d o apt dash git install p i d g i n, and then it's going to tell you what packages it's installing, and go ahead and hit yes. And it will probably prompt you for your password when you do sudo as well, uh, whatever password you use to log into the computer, assuming you have uh, admin rights on the computer you're working on. And this will just take a couple minutes to download. Uh, fun fact, uh, Edward Snowden actually used off-the-record messaging when he talked with Glenn Greenwald, the uh, reporter who helped him break the whole NSA uh, story open. So there's reason to believe that this is fairly safe. And the nice thing about it is, like I said, it's end-to-end -end encryption. So the only people who are able to decrypt it are you and the person that you're talking to. Um, so that way there's no trail left on Facebook or uh, Google Chat of what you said. And of course you can also, if you're not a terminal fan, you can also open up the, um, uh, the Ubuntu Software Center and you can download this from the Ubuntu Software Center. I prefer doing everything via the terminal because it's more congruent across different platforms, but that's just my personal preference. So now that Pigeon is installed, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the OTR plugin for Pigeon. So again, sudo apt get install pigeon dash OTR. And again, hit yes to confirm. So one more time while that's downloading, it's sudo, uh, sudo apt dash get space install pigeon dash OTR. sudo apt get install pigeon OTR. So yeah. So now we can actually start Pigeon, and I can close out of the terminal. And the first time you start Pigeon, you're going to have to add an account to use it. So I'm going to add a Facebook account. And I have a fake Facebook account, account that I like to use for this sort of stuff. So I'm going to go to my Facebook account, and you can see that here's a fake account I've set up called Piston Black, although that's a real picture. He's devilishly good looking. <laughs> All right, but Piston Black, um, you can see that his name is Piston Black, but what's important is on your Facebook page, when you go to your Facebook page, your name is not the same as your username. So for Piston, his username is actually Piston.Black.7. So that's what I need to copy, everything after the slash. That's your Facebook username even though you actually never use your username. So, I'm going to go back. I've changed this, the protocol to Facebook for username. I'm going to paste in what I copied from Facebook. 
and now I'm going to put in the Facebook password. I'm going to hit remember password for convenience and hit add. And then this is going to take a moment for it to populate as it's pulling in Piston's friends, which he only has one friend, which is myself. All right, go, go, go. There we are. All right, so now Piston wants to talk to Conrad. But before he can do that, we need to, or at least before he can um, talk to Conrad um, privately, we need to go to Plugins and enable the OTR plugin. So here's the off the record messaging plugin. I'm going to check that and now we're going to hit configure plugins. And now this is, we're going to create our encryption keys. So I'm going to hit generate. And then this could take a little while. Actually, that went really fast. When I did this all on Windows, it took forever, but Windows is slow. So our, uh, our fingerprint has been generated. And now I'm going to close this and close this again. OK, so I am going to set up a private conversation with Conrad. So I click on Conrad in the friends list. And then you can see when I first start that the conversation is not private big red letters and so if I type a message to him right now hi Conrad the message that I send him Facebook or whatever instant messaging protocol I'm using that company can see that right now so what we want to do is we're gonna right click on that night pri not private and we're gonna hit start private conversation and then this is gonna initiate a unverified but encrypted conversation between me and Conrad um, now, unverified means that, let's say somebody had hacked uh, my computer and was posing to be Conrad, um, then I could send a question to Conrad to make sure that he is who he, I really think he is. So let's do authenticate buddy. So I'm going to ask Conrad, what is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything? And the secret answer, of course, is 42 and then authenticate. And now Conrad gets that question and has to answer. So, and obviously you wanna ask something that only the other person would know. And <clears throat> now we can see that the uh, conversation is both encrypted and private and it's been authenticated. We know that the person we're chatting with is really the person we think we're chatting with. And so we can say, safely begin a conversation back and forth. Um, so I will say, hi, Conrad, how is it going? Linux is the best. Okay, so we've sent a couple encrypted messages. And uh, also a, an important point to note right now is that if you want to send an encrypted message, the other person has to have OTR installed on their computer as well. Um, so. This won't work if the other person doesn't have it. You can still send them unencrypted messages through Pigeon, but if you want to send encrypted messages, both you and the other person have to have OTR configured um, and have your keys generated. So if, if the person you want to talk to doesn't have OTR configured, send them this video or the link to the Windows video, which teaches you how to do the same thing on Windows. So now we're gonna go back to Facebook and you can see that all of the messages that I've been sending between Piston Black and Conrad Sykes have been encrypted. Um, so it's really just that easy. It's um, pretty much two commands, sudo apt-get install pigeon, um, and then sudo apt-get install pigeon-otr. You start up pigeon, um, you uh, enable the OTR plugin, you um, generate your key, and then you begin a private conversation with somebody else who has OTR installed. Uh, it's pretty dead simple, it's very secure, um, if you have any questions, just post them down in the comments below.